Did you know nearly 40% of car breakdowns are due to faulty sensors? One of the top culprits is the throttle position sensor. Today, we'll cover the key symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor and how to fix it before it becomes a major problem. Stay tuned. You might save yourself from a costly repair. How throttle control works. The throttle position sensor, or TPS, sits on the throttle body in your engine's intake system. Its job is to keep track of the throttle valve's position and send that info to the engine control unit, or ECU. This helps manage how much air and fuel mix, ensuring your car accelerates smoothly and runs well. Years ago, cars used a throttle cable. It was simple. The gas pedal was directly connected to the throttle body with a cable. When you press the pedal, the throttle would open up. But since the late 80s, most cars moved to electronic throttle control. That means no more cable. Now sensors and electronics control the throttle. This change made driving smoother and fuel use more efficient, but it also means more things can go wrong. With this background in mind, let's move on to the signs of a bad throttle position sensor. We'll start with the small clues and go up to the bigger issues. The first symptom of a bad throttle position sensor is inconsistent idle speed. When you're idling, like at a stoplight, the throttle should be almost closed, letting just a small amount of air in to keep the engine running smoothly. If the TPS is faulty, it might send incorrect signals to the ECU. The ECU might think the throttle is more open or closed than it actually is. This confusion can cause the engine to get too much air or not enough, leading to inconsistent idle speed. The second symptom of a bad throttle position sensor is poor fuel economy. The TPS plays a crucial role in managing the air-fuel mixture. If it's not working correctly, your engine might run richer than necessary, leading to increased fuel consumption. Think about it. How much extra are you willing to pay before fixing a simple sensor? But before you rush to replace it, stick around, and I'll show you how to diagnose this problem. The third symptom of throttle position sensor failure is hesitation during acceleration. When you press down on the gas pedal, the throttle position sensor is supposed to tell the engine to open up the throttle and let in more air. This mixes with the fuel and boosts the engine to pick up speed. But if the TPS fails, it sends mixed signals or delays to the engine control unit. This mix-up causes the engine to hesitate because it's unsure how much air to let in. So, instead of a smooth takeoff when you step on the gas, you might feel a lag, like the engine is trying to catch up. It's that stumble you feel when expecting a smooth burst of power. The fourth sign of a bad TPS is difficulty shifting gears. If the TPS is faulty, it might send incorrect or erratic signal. This makes the ECU struggle to figure out the best moment to shift. In an automatic car, this can cause hard or delayed shifts. You might notice the engine revving too high before shifting or the car jerking when it finally does. In a manual car, you might feel the gear changes are rougher than usual or have to fight to get the gear in place. When the TPS isn't working properly, it affects how smoothly the car transitions between gears. This not only makes driving less comfortable, but also puts more stress on your transmission. Remember, if you find this information helpful, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share this video. The fifth bad throttle position sensor symptom is unresponsive acceleration. If you press down on the gas pedal and notice little to no response, or your car struggles to pick up speed, the TPS could send incorrect data to the engine. This lack of responsiveness can be dangerous, especially when quick acceleration is needed, such as when merging onto highways or passing other vehicles. The sixth symptom of a bad throttle position sensor is unusual surges in speed. When the TPS sends incorrect signals to the engine, the throttle can open or close unexpectedly, leading to dangerous bursts of acceleration. At this point, you're dealing with some serious symptoms that can impact your control over the vehicle, so it's important to take these signs seriously. The seventh symptom of a bad throttle position sensor is the check engine light flashing. When the TPS fails, the engine control unit may detect the problem and trigger the check engine light. While this light can indicate a range of issues, it's a clear warning to get your car checked out, as ignoring it could lead to more severe problems down the road. The eighth sign of a bad throttle position sensor is bucking and jerking bucking or jerking while driving, especially during acceleration, is a common sign of a failing throttle position sensor. When the TPS sends inconsistent signals to the engine, 
it can cause the car to surge forward or suddenly lose power, resulting in a jerky or rough ride. This erratic behavior can make driving unpredictable and unsafe, particularly in traffic or highways. The ninth and most serious symptom is sudden engine stalling. Sudden engine stalling is the most dangerous symptom of a failing throttle position sensor. If your engine stalls unexpectedly while driving, especially at higher speeds, it could be because the TPS is failing to send accurate data to the engine control unit. This sudden loss of power can lead to unsafe driving conditions, putting you and others at risk. Diagnosing throttle position sensor issues. So you've got the symptoms and maybe even that dreaded check engine light. How do you figure out if it's the throttle position sensor? The simplest way? Pull those engine codes. Remember, P0120 to P0124 are your prime suspects. But here's the catch. Those codes could also point to issues like faulty throttle body actuators or bad accelerator pedal position sensors. So how do you ensure it's the throttle position sensor and not something else? Cleaning and testing the throttle position sensor. Here's where it gets interesting. Before you spend any money on replacements, try this. Pull the throttle position sensor out and give it a good clean. It's easy to access right around the throttle body and can get gunked up with dirt and oil over time, causing those false readings. Connect your multimeter to the sensor and start your vehicle. Then, have someone press the gas while you read the volts. As you press the gas pedal, the voltage on the multimeter should increase. If it doesn't, there's a problem with the sensor. Advanced diagnostic technique. Still no luck? Let's look at the accelerator pedal position sensor. It's less common but could be the culprit. If that's not it, consider testing or replacing the throttle body actuator or motor. Is it expensive to fix a throttle body sensor? Fixing a throttle position sensor can vary in cost depending on your vehicle and location. On average, you can expect to pay around $187 in total. This includes approximately $103 for the parts and $84 for labor. Prices can differ, so getting a specific quote from your mechanic is a good idea. We've just looked at the symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor. Here's the takeaway. If your car's acting up and shows a check engine light with codes between P0120 and P0124, start by looking at the throttle position sensor. If you think it might be the pedal sensor, check out this video next on the symptoms of a bad accelerator pedal position sensor.